Well, here's a little demonstration of some AM uh, broadcast band um, reception. This isn't exactly actually a, a DX demonstration, um, but it is um, since it is daytime. Um, but it's uh, just an example of doing some uh, digging out of, of some signals that probably uh, wouldn't ordinarily be um, uh, receivable in this area. So I am outside, as you can see, um, out here in a, a local park, uh, and there's no electrical noise out here, and I am using uh, three different radios. The Panasonic RF2200, uh, the Super Radio 2, and uh, just to uh, verify that I'm on frequency, uh, a Grundig G6 aviator uh, with the digital readout. Uh, and what I'd like to do is, is uh, tune in a station which would be very strong uh, in this area, and that's uh, WFAN. That's uh, 66, uh, 600. 60 a.m. Very strong signal, uh, and both of these radios would pick that up very easily. Uh, so my strategy is just to uh, to start there with both of them at a known signal, and then work my way up uh, and see if we can dig out some signals that are, wouldn't normally be uh, uh, available to us. And one of the tools I'm using is uh, if you go to radio-locator.com. Uh, it will give you a listing of radios that, uh, I'm sorry, stations uh, that are should be perceptible uh, according to your zip code. And uh, I have a list here, uh, but you'll see I have uh, WFAN here at 660. Uh, but the next available, the next station, uh, which according to this list would be per uh, perceptible, would be at 710. So there's uh, a good space of uh, uh, bandwidth there that uh, I shouldn't be hearing anything according to this list uh, but we're gonna see what we can hear so let's start at 660 and let's just move up until we hear something really pushing each other you got Duda hits that he has the big two home run game the other night when they beat Cincinnati now there's something there I hear it Okay, that's about 670, I would say. Again, it's there. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is bring in uh, this loop antenna, and you'll see what difference. That's not a bad signal. That is uh, WIEZ 670 in Lewistown, Pennsylvania. That's not um, that's not a terribly big distance, but that is um, under normal circumstances with uh, your average radio, you wouldn't be picking this up. It shows you a little bit of the capability of this particular radio, along with this. Uh, this loop antenna, which is a Texan antenna. Now let's go over here and see how the... I'm going to orient the super radio, uh, basically in the same orientation as the gyro antenna on the uh, Panasonic. And this should be at uh, pre-tuned. The right guy. To yeah, 660. Let's go up a little bit on the band dial and see what we get. Here's something in there. I'll move my antenna a little closer. That's. That's the edge of 660 you're hearing. Okay. There you go, 670. I'll look up and figure out the uh, the distance for that station. Again, not an overly long distance, uh, but it is one of the fun things about 
broadcast band work uh, on the AM band that uh, you can play and, and dig out some weak signals. Let's turn this up and this is uh, my favorite radio. And again, we'll take the antenna away and you'll see the difference. It's there, but it's it's barely perceptible. Now let's try this up uh, another another segment, another channel. We're going to look at 680. Okay, I know there's something in there. This guy here a little bit. You see what a difference that tuning makes on the uh, types of tuning. Just a little bit. It'll disappear. You find that sweet spot. Just for a, a comparison, let me show you that particular signal. So I'll turn this down on the uh, on the Texan here. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, the Grundig. So that's not the same station, now, is it? Turn it back up. That's. Okay, Boston. Okay. There's the Boston. Noisy, noisy signal from the digital radio. Barely there. But if you go back to the uh, analog. You're getting a little bit of fade in. A little CCR in the background. So it's a fun radio, it's a fun hobby to spend some time just digging out some weak signal stations. Um, it's a good outdoor activity and uh, hope you enjoyed this little demonstration.